Nigerian Pigeon English. A unique blend. Hello, language enthusiasts. Today, we're diving deep into the world of Nigerian Pigeon English, an incredible blend of English and local languages that's as vibrant as the culture from which it springs. Let's explore this colorful linguistic realm. Nigerian Pidgin English, often simply called Pidgin or Broken English, locally, is an English-based Creole language spoken as a lingua franca across Nigeria. It's not an official language, but it's used widely in informal settings, especially among friends or in popular entertainment. The beauty of Pidgin lies in its mixture of English vocabulary with structures from Nigerian languages and idioms. The roots of Nigerian pidgin can be traced back to the contact between locals and English-speaking traders, which began in the 15th century. Over time, as trade intensified and communities interacted, a pidgin form of English emerged, allowing for smoother communication. This language evolved and incorporated elements from various Nigerian languages like Yoruba, Hausa, and Igbo, giving it its distinct flavor. Nigerian Pidgin English has several fascinating features. Simplified grammar. While Pidgin has its own set of grammar rules, they're typically simpler than standard English. For example, the verb to be is often dropped. I happy instead of I am happy. Unique vocabulary. Pidgin has words that you won't find in standard English. For instance, Wahala means trouble, and jollof refers to a popular West African rice dish. Expressive idioms. Idiomatic expressions in pidgin are vivid and memorable. I day your back means I support you, while e don te implies it's been a long time. Nigerian pidgin isn't just a mode of communication. It's an integral part of Nigerian culture. It's heavily featured in music, movies, and radio, giving voice to local stories and expressions. Artists like Burna Boy and Wizkid have brought Pigeon to the global stage through their hit songs. While Pigeon uses a lot of English vocabulary, it's essential to understand that it's a language in its own right with its own grammar and pronunciation rules. For instance, tenses, pidgin often uses day to indicate the continuous tense. I day go means I am going. Pronouns, dem, can mean they, them, or their, based on context. Questions, instead of do you have, one might ask, you get, in pidgin. Thanks for joining us on this journey through Nigerian Pidgin English. It's a testament to the dynamic and rich tapestry of languages and cultures. Remember, learning a new dialect or language is not just about words and grammar. It's about embracing a whole new worldview. We hope this video has piqued your interest in the colorful world of Nigerian Pidgin.